afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one between the prospects from the West region and the prospects from the Central region. Don Ono, a right-hander out of Tennessee, will be the starting pitcher. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. Digging in, Tommy Ames. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The left fielder, Tommy Ames. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Moya has a play. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Escobar. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he takes ball one. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Now the 1-0. Heading out towards shallow right. Ornelas is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for route number two. Standing in, Steve Fontaine. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Fontaine. Now the pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Lucy is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. On now to the bottom of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. New inning set to get underway and that'll give way to the third baseman, Chris Daly. Rick. Hey, place it first. Place it first. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, up. Hey, nobody on. One on one. The one one home. That's a ball. Two and one. And he got him. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very nice off-speed pitch, and that has to impress the scouts in the stands. Most young hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs, but he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. Now with the plate, Alejandro Padilla, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Alejandro Padilla. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Got it. I go. And two quick outs here in the second. Into the box now, Emery Bayless. The second baseman, Emery Bayless. Hey, here we go. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit to first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Right, Stepping on. into the box, Leo Hernandez. 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go Leo. here in the third. Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, yeah. No one out now. Swing and a liner, but foul. Oh, 
down and away. Ball, it's a ball strikes. and two strikes. Fouled off. And this is popped up near second base. And there's the first out. Now in the box, Pedro Ponce. One down, one down. The catcher, Pedro Ponce. First delivery to him on the way. And he fouls this one off. Here it comes. Didn't oh. quite catch the zone there. Ball one. One and one. Third inning, no score to this point. Two and Two one balls, as he one misses strike. with the slurve there. Fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. And that's just an excellent job of attacking the batter. The entire at bat right there. Eventually finishing him off for the strikeout. I don't care what he the right does view. the rest of this showcase. Yeah, he just Hot shows there. he knows how to mix his pitches. Keep hitting. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. A one run finish today, five to four, the final score. The West the took the lead in the fourth and held on until hit. the end. Eloy Vina takes home the win. Hit. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and her entire crew. I'm Afternoon baseball here on the show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and the prospects from the Central Region. Number 25 will be tasked with the starting pitching assignment for the away team. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, there are a lot of different ways to throw a changeup, and this guy uses the Vulcan grip. We don't see that very often. Most of the time, we see guys with that circle changeup, but he does the spread the fingers, the Vulcan grip. Right, it's worked for him, and we'll see if it works for him in this one here today. Standing in, Derek Kramer, and we are ready for some daytime out, baseball. Yeah, First pitch on its way. First pitch. 107. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Ballin. Just a perfect afternoon for baseball. 80 degrees under clear blue skies. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Lucy patrolling center makes the play one out. Now at the plate, David McMahon as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. He pulls this one into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Rich Crane. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. Now the 0 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Ornelas is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Ball. 
All set for the start of the inning. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Boone Ryder. Ryder. First offering on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Hey, come on, guys. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Hard ground ball to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Now at the plate, Brendan Burke, as he'll get his that first hit. opportunity in this one. Hitter. Brendan. Pitch on the Burke. way. Hey. And he gets the call that time for strike yeah, number good. one. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they can't run it down. Well above the letters with the One fastball that time. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very nice off-speed pitch. And that has to impress the scouts in the stands. Most young hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs. But he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. Coming to the plate now, Omar Arojo. He'll swing it from the left side right here. First pitch coming, here it is. All right, come on now. The 1 0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Santos is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Now at the plate, Mackenzie Massey. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. In there, 0 and 1. Line to the right side. That's a base hit, their first of the game. Well, he was cruising there for a while, but he had to give up his first hit eventually. This is actually good because now the scouts will be able to see how he operates out of the stretch. Maybe get a look at his pickoff move. Also, you want to see how a pitcher hey, responds to adversity, and the this is the first bit of adversity Joel. he's faced all game. Franco. So now to the That's plate, ball. Joel Franco. One ball, One ball no, no strikes. strikes the count. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. There we go, guys. And no. did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. two. And this will ricochet two. Two. off of him on the mound. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And he just looks like he's in a comfortable groove out there. A nice pitch here, and the hitter can do nothing but roll over it for an easy out. It'll be interesting to see if he can finish as strong as he started this thing. Scouts like what they've seen so far. At the plate, Edmundo Polito. Hey, one down now, one down. Edmundo Polito. Reset and the pitch. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Come on, big guy. Get yourself right here. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. 
As a pitcher, you hate to ever give up a home run, but especially painful when you do it here at the Tops Amateur Showcase in front of the people that are going to decide your future. Nothing can be done about that now, though. He has to have a short memory and get back to work. And now, Derek Kramer started to go around there, but he holds up one and one. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. One out, one out. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Three and oh now. Hey, plays that. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and one. Inside, he misses ball four. Every person in this park, scouts included, know that walks can just kill a team, leading to big innings. Even the greatest pitchers in the game give them up occasionally, but he's got to find a way to minimize them if possible. We'll see if he can put that behind him and attack the next hitter a little bit more aggressively. Digging in the switch hitter, go, David one out, McMahon. Yeah. 0 for 1 here in the early going. David. McMahon. Hey, get ahead. Stay He's ahead. set. Right here it here. comes. Right. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. The 0 and 1 delivery. And boy, big problems here oh, to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Struck him out. Wow, he's not messing around right here. Three pitches, three strikes. Sit your backside down. Scouts just love a guy that's willing to go right after a hitter, and that's exactly what he did there. I see a lot of scouts in the stands nodding their heads, liking what they see, and I don't blame them. Great. First offering on its way. Rich Crane will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Here's the 0 1. Kramer leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And it's oh. one and two. One ball, two straight. Now a throw over to first, a dive, but he's back. Three, three, three. Back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, eat it, eat it. Cut it right there. Now batting, the center fielder. Boom. To the plate now, Ryder. Boone Ryder. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Looking to minimize the damage here. One, one, Hit one, weakly one. back to the mound. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and two men left on base. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. Seven to five, how today's comes to... With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. With the 24th pick, the Tampa Bay Rays select John Oh No, a starting pitcher from the Central Region. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. 
While being selected is a major milestone, new draftees still face long odds of ever making it to the big leagues.